This week on Archer's Choice. We're heading north. Canadian like sub -arm. Northern Manitoba. Oh. Manitoba monsters. Big bears. It's the first afternoon on here at Canadian Subarctic hunting. We have two big black bears. Did you hear that? What was that? That's it. He's a big bear. What do you say? You let the beam and fly. Wait, hit him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice, and well, yep, we're heading north. Yeah, to like Canadian our- Canadian sub -art. Canadian sub -art. Northern Manitoba. Oof. Manitoba monsters, big bears. Lots of bears Lots and of crazy bears. bears. In, These bears, bears, they don't even know who you are. No, they, most of them have never After seen After about 15 human, years so. or so of us being there, they still don't know who we are. I honestly think it's more than 15 if you really yeah, think about it. It probably is. Yeah, it is. I th I'm pretty sure it is. One of our favorite spots. One of our favorite spots. And there's so much to share with you that we really have nothing else we can say right now. We need to cut it short. So let's go. Bearing down. Manitoba monsters. Canadian subarctic. <laughs> There's one thing you all know that we love, and that's the true, pristine wilderness. And in the wilderness, it doesn't matter what we're hunting. Come the springtime, though, you could bet we're going to be in northern Manitoba with Ken Gangler, Canadian subarctic, the Manitoba monsters chasing the rutting big black boars of Manitoba. There's a few things that we really look forward to, not only seeing Ken and everybody at that incredible lodge in the middle of nowhere, but to be with Super Dave. Hi, it's Lolita. I've been, I've been guiding since 1985, and this is, this is my favorite week. Every year you guys come back, it's my favorite week. No, no, no kidding aside. Super Dave is our guide. Every year, we love Dave. Dave makes sure that I have coffee in the morning, that I'm comfortable, he gives me his shotgun when he has to take the guys out for hunting. Dave, thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. No, I'm not a princess, but Dave makes me feel like one. <laughs> Up here in northern Manitoba, Canadian subarctic hunting, if you want an incredibly interesting bear hunt, it's definitely a place you want to go. We love coming up here. You're, you're out in the middle of nowhere. The main lodge is in the middle of nowhere. There's no roads to get you here. Everything is by plane. You take off out of Thompson or Winnipeg, and from there, it's all float planes. We are here at camp. Big D is out there spinning the boat around with our pilot here, and um, this is home for the next week. Yeah. Woohoo! Only four flights to get here. Last one was the smallest one and on floats, but oh, hey, yeah. gotta love bear hunting. Right. This guy's gonna use it, he's gonna come. Um, wait a minute. Why not? I saw, I saw a black bear at least two miles north of that, the, our bait, probably a little, yeah, head, heading that way. Um, well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we just got into camp. Dave and I are gonna go head out and check all the baits. We're gonna put our spy points up and uh, he's filling gas. And we're gonna turn around, and get some of our Northwoods bear scent and start s sweetening the area, even though he's done it already. We still like to do it to our, ourselves too. Is, is these bears don't have to be baited weeks in advance. They're waiting for stuff here. This is one of the very most unique places to bear hunt, and I'll tell you why. The only pressure that these bears have is literally like two weeks out of the whole entire year. 
You can't even consider that pressure. These bears up here are crazy. They, they're not afraid of humans. Matter of fact, the majority of them have never seen a human. We are hunting where the caribou winter. I mean, there's hardly any big trees. It's all small spruce and pine. And I mean, very narrow, very old age structure. One of the things that we really cherish up here, besides the wilderness, besides Super Dave, is just the whole entire epic adventure. There's not, there's not, look it, there's hardly any water in there. That's why you have to watch Dave's way through. Oh yeah, okay, let me see. Dave knows how to do this. And then I started trying to just add more and more stuff to the leaves. and adding like fake Christmas trees, so it had brush in the way, and you had to like just get right for the shots. You said, you said you'd, you'd turn all the lights off. And you'd... Well, it's our first morning in camp here. If you remember, this is where RJ actually last year shot his bear right at camp you know you're shooting close yeah it's kind of creepy wait till that shoulder nope Tell me if you're on him. I'm on him. <laughs> I just shot my bear five foot from our tent, if that, where we were standing. The bear was probably 20 yards, if. And I'm just, I'm ready to go get this thing. Well, you. Excellent. I don't think it'll be very far from the shot you had. You on blood? There's your bear, right here. Yeah, I mean, it was a ma it was a great bear, a no-brainer bear, and he was standing like right here next to the tent. Well, first morning out, Dave and I are, we, we, you know, we put our spy points out yesterday, right when we got into camp. Now we got cards. We're gonna go pull the cards and see what's happening. Vicky and Terry are gonna stay back there cleaning up camp a little bit. And, um, we got cloud cover, so it's nowhere near as hot, huh? As it was yesterday. Hopefully it stays that way. Is that right? Yeah. Remember that? 26 or 27. So Dave, what are we doing today? <laughs> I'm Joey? Like, what? Hey Vicky, I, I think I'm gonna take you fishing today. <laughs> you know, we can't you can dress them up, you can't take them anywhere. You can't take them with you, you know? Sorry, Dave. Oh, I'm taking you with my wife out hunting, you know. It's probably dishes and firewood to be cut. Yeah, why don't you do you must pay the room with that. <laughs> 446 photos. Dang. That's not a small bear. Looks like a good bear. Big bear. He sits there and you just see like that much room between his ears. Does the other one have a solid face? That's going to be a lot of bears close up. A lot of That's a lot of bear close up. Those are two big, you know, nice bears. But we'll see because I got the other camera. So we'll see. I know, so we got to see what happens on the north because the big... Yeah. The big one that we think is the boar on the north has that light brown muzzle. And then the, the other one that's there has a blacker face that we're thinking maybe is probably a sow, but... Blacker face. There's your sow. That's it. Our first morning, yesterday when we got into camp, went out and set our spy points up everywhere. We're just going to go pull cards right now. It's still early morning. Um, and we'll come back, we'll evaluate what's going on, try to see, you know, what's going where, and, and then we'll make a plan for this evening's hunt. Let's see if he shows up on, your, on the north one, too. 
We pull the cards, we get back, and we're like, oh, already. We got a giant black boar with a giant black sow, and he is courting her big time. Well, we gotta let Vicky go after this one. smaller black bear already just walking around here so we just hurried up got in our blind and got set so we're just gonna get quiet now and wait because we know he's around here we know he's nervous already because we know there's a big boar in this area we'll keep our fingers crossed Did you see my bread come back? Break. Hey, the sun came out. All right. Ralph and Dave are on their way. They'll be coming across the lake here. I'm just gonna grab this, lay it down, grab my backpack, and we'll wait for them because Dave's gonna come with his gun. Um, the bears up here are, are a little strange. Or they don't care much. And we know that there's a big sow with that boar and we don't know where she's at anymore. So. We are going to wait for them before we go after that bear. I don't know where the sow is at. All right, we'll be good. So, all right. I shot him like right here somewhere. And he ran that way. Oh, there's my arrow. Is it all? Oh, he busted my arrow. Hey, but look at my knocks working. So I probably don't have a pass through, but he didn't go far. We heard him see a blood. He's right there. Oh, there he is. He's right there. <laughs> he didn't go anywhere. He. No. <laughs> Easy. He's huge. Well, that wasn't a real hard tracking job, honey. At no. all. No. My breadcrumb knock. I mean, it brighter than bright, which is it's really really cool. And then I know I hit the opposite leg because his front leg was forward, and I pinned him, and 
This is, you know, this is why we come up here to Ken Ganglers. It's why we come in. Nova Monsters. Canadian Subarctic. Oh. The unique thing about up here at Canadian Subarctic, there, there's age structure, there's everything that you need here. This, this right is here. A stud of a black bear. Big old boar. Big old big, boar. No beat up. Your head. Yeah, beat up. Crack, fresh scars on his face. I mean. And he was with the sow, so he, he was, was with the sow. So and, and sheep could probably still be around oh, here yeah, somewhere. somewhere. So she's somewhere around here, I'm sure of it. But anyways, yeah. But what we got to do is let's tag him. Yep. Dave's waiting on the boat. Hey, Dave. Hey, 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 Look, hey. Look at that. Congratulations. Thank you. He, he, he taught me patience. Yeah. Couple dogs there. You kiss her. Come on now. Kiss oh, her. Shut hey. up. <laughs> We got all our spy point cameras and we actually uh, we're looking for a particular color phase possibly. Found yeah. a beautiful cinnamon. We want to go maybe see if he's going to come back and see what he looks like. That's what we're doing tonight. Way to go again! You I did know. it. it was what a beautiful awesome. bear! Oh, big old Bruin too. Oh. Enough, you could hear him coming in, and it just—it was awesome. sort of sounded like Boomer, huh? <gasps> <gasps> Walk it, yep. But it was so cool. And now, I mean, we're getting ready for part two next week to see what else happens. I mean, there's always something going on. Canadian sub Arctic. Arctic. Okay, next week. Next week. We'll come back to North Northern Manitoba. No, we're gonna stay there. Oh. Okay, we'll stay there. Hey, so thanks for watching this week. 
Same, we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. You see My this, brain, this. I need more coffee. No, it's you not don't. not functioning properly. No, you don't. It is, no. it is. x oh, on the caffeine, eh? bless your eh? See, we Look could it. say that, that's I Canadian. Be like, bless X your... x on the caffeine, eh? Look at, bless your buck heart.